In this video, I'm going to give you a look at Quiz Is. Quiz Is is a fun multiplayer activity in which students can take online quizzes. Students can use any web-enabled device to access Quiz Is, so a laptop, a desktop, tablets, Chromebooks, smartphones. It really is the perfect tool for one-to-one -one or BYOD classrooms, or even for classrooms that where you maybe not have a device for every student, but you have multiple devices. You could group your students and have them compete as teams. So it's really simple to start to set up um, and what I really like about quizzes is that you can actually try this all out without ever creating an account. So we're going to go ahead and click get started and that takes you into the quiz database. Now these featured quizzes you can either um, do a search by grade level, by subject area, whatever it is that you're looking for. You can filter that search based on subject area or you can look at the featured quizzes and the featured quizzes are quizzes that other people have created and marked public so that um, to allow other users to view them. With each quiz you see the name of the quiz, the user who created it, the grade level the quiz is targeted towards, and how many days ago it was created. You also see how many questions are in this particular quiz. And you'll notice as I hover over the quiz, the quiz questions actually pop up to the right. So you can preview all of the questions in the quiz and see if it's a quiz that you might want to use. Once you find one that you want to use, you can actually click on it to select it. And then it will show you each of the quiz questions in detail and the answer choices. You can choose to show the answer, the correct answer, and it will tell you which answer is correct. You'll also notice the uh, time limit for each question. Uh, all of the questions in this quiz have a 30 second time limit, which means the students need to answer the question within 30 seconds in order to get credit for that question. If you find a quiz that you like, you notice that you can either play it live or assign it as homework, which is a really nice feature. We're going to play this quiz live, and it's going to ask you to sign in or create an account so that you don't lose your reports. We're going to try this out without um, looking at the reports, so we'll skip that for now. You have some different settings that you can uh, set for your questions and for your games. We'll take a look at those. You can jumble the questions, the jumble the order of the questions so that they appear differently for each student. You can also jumble the answer. So even if you do have two students sitting next to each other with the same question, the answer choices will be in different orders. You can choose to show the answers after the questions. You can also choose to show a quiz review. This is one of my favorite features in Quiz Is, is the ability to show the students their um, whole quiz at the end of the quiz. Game settings include showing the leaderboard, so that kind of makes it a little more competitive, could be a little, uh, could be fun with your students. You can choose to show the question timer and notice that students get more points for faster answers. So again, that's a competitive thing. You can choose to show the memes, which are funny pictures that appear after each question. Those are automatically generated by quiz is. You can also choose to play music on student devices or you can turn that off. So all of those are just toggles if you don't want to have any of those options on, just toggle it to off. We'll go ahead and click proceed and students will go to join.quizzes.com and enter this class code. Notice you can also share this quiz directly to Google Classroom which means it will uh, send them a link directly to this quiz in Google Classroom. So if your students are used to using Google Classroom that is a really nice option. I have a student account already open here. Um, actually students don't need an account to use quizzes but I have gone to join.quizzes.com and I am ready to enter my five digit code. This code will change each time you start this game. So every time you start a game, you'll get a new code. If your students have already been to quizzes on that particular device, their name will already be filled in or they can enter their name and click join game. They will uh, get an avatar randomly generated for them. And once it finds the avatar, it will tell them the waiting for the game to be started. If we look back over on the teacher side, we'll see that the student names will populate here along with their avatar. Troops are the number of students that you have in your game currently, so you know if you have 15 students in your class, you'll need to wait until 15 troops populate here. Um, just know that if you have a student that might try to put something inappropriate in for their name, you can actually kick them out of the game by simply clicking on their name. So we're going to go ahead and start the game. Notice that a teacher can cancel the game at any time. So I'll click start the game and I'm going to bring back that student account and we can see a countdown on both screens. Now in quizzes, the question and the answer gets displayed directly on the student device. We see the timer counting down. Remember the student gets more points for the 
for correct answers that they answer fast. We'll go ahead and select an answer. We have eight, and here is an example of a meme. Um, it tells me what the correct answer is, and it tells me what my rank is. That automatically then moves on to the next question in the group. The teacher doesn't control the pace of this, it's the student controls the pace. So when they're done, it automatically moves them on to the next question. Uh, this answer was wrong, so again it tells me what the correct answer was, and it continues on in the game. Again, students participate in this at their own pace. As soon as they answer a question, um, it will move them on to the next question. When they're done with all of the questions in the quiz, it will tell them their class rank, and also it will give them their final rank, their score, their accuracy, and what I love about quizzes is at the end it will give them all of the questions in the quiz and it will tell them if they got the question right or if they got the question wrong. And it also tells them what the correct answer was. So because this is a student paced activity, some students are going to finish quicker than other students. Those students who finish quicker can actually go back and review their quiz on their device. If we look back over here at the teacher side, what we will see for each student is their name, their score and whether they got the question right or whether they got the question wrong. We will also see a breakdown by question and we'll be able to know how many students got the question right and how many got students got the question wrong. So we can see if we have a lot of students that got number five wrong, we better review number five. Now another option you have in quizzes, and you do need to have an account in order to utilize this option, is the ability to export results. And what that does is it takes this information, exports it as a spreadsheet, has a list for each student, how they answered each question and their total score. So while quizzes could be used as a fun review activity, quizzes definitely could be used to conduct quizzes and use that export feature to grade the quiz for you. So that is a quick overview of quizzes.